It's high noon somewhere. Welcome to Scope Creep Saloon. Do I? Do I? <laughs> this guy's... Oh, oh! it's one of his dang candy boys. I got he's my candy to, cigarette. I yeah. thought he's about to rip a dart indoors. No. <laughs> Listen, everyone thinks... Luxury move. <laughs> everyone thinks I'm yeah. so weird for talking about squirting the podcast. This guy's coming ripping in here with a candy cig. Yeah. Could they make candy cigarettes that have nicotine in them? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. wow. <laughs> Holy shit. I might be, you know, I got yeah, a little, why you know, I got a little Zen going over here. I was going to say, Come why doesn't Zen it? make one of these? It would be sick. That would sell like hotcakes. Yeah. Solve a lot so of the problems. The problem is no one has invented anything that looks cooler than smoking yet. Yeah, smoking does look, unfortunately, very cool. I, I always wondered why they didn't make like a like a cigarette that doesn't have anything bad in it because I would just smoke those all the time. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think it's a million dollar idea because it looks cool as fuck. <coughs> yeah, man, he's really that candy cigarette's really getting you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> take it easy on those. <laughs> yeah, I don't like like you're 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 holding it like a cigarette and everything. It's pretty funny. What's wrong Wait, with that? Do, let me tell you something about joints. Okay, there's something in there that's not tobacco, and it yeah. does look cool to smoke it. Yeah, I can't smoke weed per the government. Well, thanks, Joe Biden. Mm, thanks, Joe. thanks, Joe Biden. <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to Scope Creek Saloon, the show where we take a random prompt and speed run, turning into a game pitch. I'm Eric. I'm Andrew. I'm Frank. And on today's episode, we pulled the words blacksmithy, croutons, and pregnancy. And our game today is such a crumbling beauty. Now, if you're listening to this episode and you have your own ideas or questions or comments, please send them our way. We're going to have a Slido link in the show notes, and that'll be open for one week after this episode goes live. Once it's closed, we're going to check all your submissions in the next mailbag episode. If you want an example of what a mailbag episode sounds like, check out the episode right before this one. You can also hit us up anytime at Scope Creep Pod on Twitter and at Scope Creep Saloon everywhere else. Enjoy the show. How are you guys feeling? You ready to make a video game or what? I'm feeling great. <sighs> yeah, Beautiful. I'm going to burp a lot, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> that's that's the beauty of podcasting, baby. <laughs> it's an audio of medium. It's telling if a story. I, if I do it like that, it's probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First word. Blacksmithy. Okay. It's mm. blacksmith with a Y at the end. Mm. What is that? I don't what? know. I think it's okay. just a blacksmith. It's just a blacksmith. Mm-hmm. Maybe the building that Smithy. a blacksmith is housed in, that business. Mm. Mm, blacksmithery. Okay, yeah. Second word. <laughs> sure. Croutons. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay. No. Final word. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> This looks like it's maybe my handwriting, too. Pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, boy, is this, this might be one of our hardest yet. <laughs> this is, nothing good's going to come out of this. All right. Blacksmithy, croutons, and pregnancy. Oh, man. What, what could I, even? What yeah, could even? I'm. I'm just, just start spitballing. Just like, what are you, what are you thinking? There's a pregnant blacksmith that's being fed croutons if they make a good horseshoe. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's just a base. We got to start somewhere. Mm. Oh, man. There's just not great ways to work pregnancy what? into <laughs> just about anything. Wait, think about it this way. Okay, wait. Okay, okay, okay. Anthropomorphic croutons, right? We got to start there. All right. 
they are birthing other croutons at a preposterous rate. And it's an <laughs> yeah. apocalypse style because there's croutons killing okay. all the pe- real people. Mm-hmm. And then you have to you have to blacksmith weapons fast enough to stop the croutons from, from killing mm. you. Okay. Okay. All right. Episode over. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Interesting. There could be something there. No, there's there's absolutely not something there. Uh, well, don't be so sure. I mean, I'm just, you know, what if you were, what if you could smith, you know, a crouton's a very hard material. Yeah. So what if you were smithing the croutons themselves? A hard crouton, yeah. Yeah, jagged. Mm-hmm. A beautiful treat, the crouton. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a tiny garlic bread. It's great. Yeah, properly seasoned, it's nice. Yeah, let's... Oh man, uh, the pregnancy aspect is really throwing me here. I feel like yeah, I feel like the only way. I don't know. I feel like the blacksmith has to be pregnant. This is the only way out of this. This is the only way out of this I can see. Right. Yeah, but what does mm. that mean from a gameplay perspective? That's an awesome question. I, I, I that's a that's a question we're all gonna have to answer. <laughs> yeah. The old the old iron crib. What if you're crafting a steel child? Huh? What if you're building a child? Oh. Mm, what if the birth What if what if the like the pregnancy is in your mind and you have to birth the idea into a child that you're making? Whoa, like a like a metal Pinocchio. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 What about that? Liza P. Yes. We're making it we're making Liza P too. You're some sort of god <laughs> creating a <laughs> metal child. Okay. Yeah. Some asbestos shit. What's that guy's name? The Greek guy. Hephaestus. Hephaestus. <laughs> I think it's. I think it's asbestos, right? Oh yeah, it's yeah, asbestos. we got asbestos. it. Yeah, the god asbestos. Oh, yeah. that was aspartame, dude. Oh, the god right. aspartame. Right. From high on the uh, he gave us squirt. <laughs> um, god, this is the hardest one yet. There's no game here. Maybe. Like, Maybe. Well, like what, I think which part is a game? <laughs> I mean, blacksmith. Yeah, it feels like it's most get, open to a yeah. game. Croutons is giving us almost nothing. Yeah, yeah, That's a hard one. <laughs> yeah. It's a fucking stinker. We could Looking make a, pregn- a pregnancy game would be interesting. It's just yeah. you're pregnant. That's the whole game. <laughs> also, and I apologize because looking looking at these slips again, I think I also wrote croutons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, but checks out. Um, you're throwing you're throwing <laughs> curveballs for sure. Yeah. Okay, let's hit the board and try to dig into this. Up next, we take our words for this episode, brainstorm separately, and come back to reveal our ideas to each other. Stay tuned. Wow. I think my, I think my brain's dying. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Speak yeah. for yourself. I got a, I got a couple fires right here. All right. Let's 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 see what we got. I'm going to reveal the words here. And pray to God someone's got something. Salad world. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell yeah all right oh, who's got yeah. salad world oh you know you already yeah, know <laughs> i know i know all right all right frank start us off dude um well i'll start with salad world um salad goblins steal babies and you have to smith the ultimate sword to kill him or them i guess yeah. i don't know how many salad goblins i haven't worked it out we're yeah. in a salad world folks you are the crouton knight yeah um and your enemies are the Sardinians, aka sardines. Um, it's just a salad game. Just fighting Italian people. <laughs> uh, wait, is that a real place? Sardinia? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I thought maybe it sounded a little too familiar. <laughs> Interesting. I had no idea. That checks out. Whoa. I was thinking sardines. Is that where sardines yeah, come from? Hold on a second. Holy what shit. The hell? What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, All right, well, then they will have, <laughs> randomly have Italian people in the salad world and you're fighting Actually, them. No. Your, your mortal enemies are just normal Italian people. Wait, I, I, mean, I reverse engineered a, a group of Italian people. <laughs> um, Yeah, so those can just be Italian people. I don't know. We can work it out. You're the crouton knight. Come on, figure it out. Um, 
Okay, I have a lot of thoughts, but let's Drew go through go through yours. All right, I think there's some overlap between your ideas and my ideas, but yeah, this is the one that I could parse out of this delightful triumvirate of words. So you'd be playing as a blacksmith has been shut out of the town beauty pageant for not having a son. So despite them, you have to. <laughs> So, so despite them, you have to give birth to a son in the fires of the forge. Your metal boy named Crouton. The next slide that I wrote was, why is he named Crouton, you might be asking? Well, it's because you love salads. <laughs> Blacksmiths don't have to only drink meat, meat, roast mutton, you fucks. They don't have to. It, it's, it's racist to think they only fucking eat mutton. Yeah. They have salads sometimes. He, this guy yeah. loves salads. Anyways, so hammering parts of your boy into shape plays out like a rhythm game. It's like it's like that it's like that it's like that taiko it's like that taiko drumming game. You ever seen that in the arcades, or like Donkey Konga, mm. but you're hammering your boy. So yeah, once your boy is built, you bring him to the pageant. If the crowd loves him, you win. If they don't, he gets what every bad boy deserves: a smelting. <laughs> Jesus, dude! No. So you make a new boy the from the boy that you've smelting. sacrificed. So <laughs> behind the scenes, as the the blacksmith you can bribe manipulate townspeople to vote for your boy but you can intimidate you can conjole you can do whatever you want to achieve the thing you've always wanted to finally be proud of your son <laughs> oh my god <laughs> very interesting yeah i've got yeah i've got thoughts on that but yeah. let's, let's <laughs> yeah, yeah i'll go quick and then we'll, we'll jump in you are a pregnant crouton nothing else there <laughs> It's bread. Sure. I'm going to be thinking mm. about this for the rest of my life, and I hate it. <laughs> um, um, you are a hot single blacksmith making guns. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hot single blacksmith making guns for pregnant ladies. Dating sims somehow? Question mark. Oh my god. We thought we had nothing, and we have a smorgasbord. Yeah, we have, we have, we have more than we can ideas. choose. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to. I really liked what Drew touched on of the blacksmith being a meat based society, and you have a loving crouton boy. Oh, <laughs> something about okay, that struck okay. good. Okay. I mean, it was it was kind of expanding on what I don't know, you inspired me towards that. Um, maybe. Hmm. Like you're making armor but for like your crouton the, boy to protect him from the people that are mean to him. You you're ostracized from the blacksmith society because they're all uh, eating mutton and stuff, and so you have to go off into the wilderness to have your crouton. <laughs> here's here's my thought. Hey, imagine you are a blacksmith. You ate a cursed crouton. Is a vegetarian is a vegetarian, and she is cursed by society or by the gods or whatever to only give birth to little crouton boys pinocchio style because she won't eat meat so she can't give birth to a meat boy (laughs) (laughs) so she's a blacksmith (laughs) and (laughs) she's a blacksmith making the armor for her her crouton boy because otherwise he would crumble like he's too fragile he would fall apart Mm. Well, uh, okay. That's, there's a lot. There's a lot. Of I thinking do like about a, that. A, okay. I do like a, a, the idea of a crouton curse. Like you ate a fucked up crouton that like yeah. a witch poisoned, and then it turns you into a crouton yeah. man. But if you're made, I mean, I know we're made of meat, but we're not entire. Like if it's just what do you meat, mean? if it's just meat, there's like you know, there's some other stuff in there. I'm not a doctor, but there's something else <laughs> going on in there. You're a lot of meat, though. <laughs> I mean, I've, if I had to guess, we're like 80% meat, sure. But those other parts are pretty important. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, mm, Kurt's on, boy. Um, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> it feels like we like something about what Drew has been talking about here with the blacksmith thing. Yeah, I don't know. I really like Drew's concept. I love the idea of forging your perfect metal boy. Proud of your son. I just want to be proud of my son. I think... The thing that is maybe what the game is, but is also still mysterious to me, is like, what what is the thing you're doing as you prepare to forge? 
and how does it relate to your pregnancy? Like one thing I can imagine is like the pregnancy is a timeline. You have nine months to forge the perfect metal boy. Listening to you talk this seriously about this topic is so funny to me. You're trying so hard and I love you for that. We could, what do you do? You make a boy. What does the boy do? Are you the boy? Oh, oh, are you? Do, no, you're playing as the blacksmith in my my lane. Right. And you send the boy. The boy does like a beauty patch. Yeah, yeah. Your boy, you're helpless. You have to watch your boy get up on stage okay. and do a little dance and like answer questions and like, <laughs> you know. You have to fill it on, with the yeah, put on a little outfit <laughs> and twirl around. Huh. So you're helpless to watch him. It's like, it's like a, you know, in like the, the Sonic Adventure games where you have like the chows. Where it's like they go out and they they have like little competition oh. things, but you can't participate. You just like build their stats. You up. can only watch. Yeah, you can only watch. But I'm also really curious. Like, what is the gameplay to designing the perfect metal boy? Like, what does it mean to make decisions about your metal boy? Hmm. What if it's kind of like a? It's like armor core say an engineering. <laughs> it's like armored core you're like both you yeah you, you have it's exactly like armored yeah core. you 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 have a deep really really over the top uh level of customization in different parts that you can affix to your boy mm. i feel i feel like that's if if we feel good about this direction we can maybe flesh it out more in the next section but i, I feel like i'd be down to like at least pursue sort of the vibe we're on right now Okay, so the, what? <laughs> yeah, give me the summation of, of the current vibe. Yeah, true. Tell us what you think the vibe is. <laughs> well, that it's like it's the the central conceit of it is that you are a blacksmith making your tiny little mech boy. That's also a crouton internally. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. We'll get. Right. <laughs> okay, yeah. I guess we got it. We got it. it. We got it. Do we? <laughs> We got it. We got right. it. People, the people are going to want to play this. I can, I can promise you that. Now that we have the core concept locked in, it's time to dig into the gameplay. More private brainstorming and sharing when we come back. Oh, man. Yeah, you guys went off. Uh, yeah. All right, Andrew, start us off. Okay, similar to what I said earlier, I really like the idea that the armor design for your little boy, your crouton guy, feels like a mech sim. Like, it's, like, way over the top in terms of its complexity yeah. and its options. And there are, like, like you have different boy builds, and you have to make, like, trade-offs for, like, like oh, shit, we need a, we need a boy vent here. Otherwise, like, the core is going to heat up too much. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, oh man, you want the you want you want the wave cannon? Yeah, you're gonna have to put some some battery packs on there, my guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, regarding the pageant, I was thinking that you'd be tested in a number of ways. The things I wrote down were brain, spirit, good sportsmanship, cooking, <laughs> dancing, dressage, and finally combat. The judges score your free uh, section section of the uh, the competition based on cuteness, overall looks, mental toughness, and style, not whether you are correct or not. <laughs> <laughs> they do not care whether your answers are correct. They they care that you are mentally tough and that you look good. Yeah, yeah. So your design has to be vetted before being allowed entry into the pageant. The pageant func- functions as like a skill check or final boss battle. Uh, you'll probably lose the first couple. Like it's designed to be kind of like difficult. You can design the look of your crouton boys and the RPG character creator. And that each phase of the pageant plays out like a WarioWare style mini game. Oh, interesting. What? What does that mean? I have no idea what that means. Okay. So, Do you know what WarioWare is? I, no. You're familiar with Wario, right? He's like a yeah. he's like a perverted Mario. Right, right, right. He's a perv. He's, yeah, yeah. He's he's a he's a he's a weird little greedy fucking fucked up guy. He's I w- I would argue he might be the worst character in the Mario universe. Oh. Um, well, what do you mean by worst? Uh, most loathsome. I think he his his mm. okay. His final smash move in Smash Brothers is just a giant fart. He just farts. Oh yeah, yeah. He's awful. But I, 
it's going to send us off into a tangent. I would maybe <laughs> challenge – I would challenge the concept of him being the worst, but I, I know what you mean. He's, he's – Who's worse than Wario? Well, no, 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 but as a, as a design for a character, I think he's pretty good. No, but he is okay. Well, we're not talking about. I'm talking about just looking at him and going like, "Wow, what a disgusting thing this yeah, is." Yeah, he's he's disgusting freak. <laughs> he's the but worst. Like, he's the worst one to have over for dinner. Yes. Yeah, he's absolutely. the worst one to have over for dinner. Oh, so, yeah. anyways, yeah, Warrior Wear. <laughs> Warrior Wear. Yeah. So, the worst character character in Mario history is given a, a really delightful series of games in which basically they're rapid fire mini games. I think they call mm-hmm. them micro games because they're so short, but it's really fun. Okay, so it's like zany, over the top, f- funny punchliney, like mini game concepts. I think Drew, you and I are very very aligned on this. I like the categories you have in the pageant. Very good. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot uh, dressage. I'm gonna have to talk about with you for a little <laughs> bit. That's he's riding a horse. The group yes. tumble. <laughs> Uh huh. All right. Well, yeah, I don't, why not? Do, do you ride the horses in dressage, or do you just kind of yeah. trot them around? No, you ride them and they dance. Oh, okay. I don't know much about dressage, to be honest. Well, I I mean, come on, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this is a video um, game you will play. I see. Yeah, just that one. I'll skip the other ones. Dressage. Parts. All right. I'm going to walk, walk through mine. I, I think overall, my main thought process was much like Drew's, which is like there's lots of, lots of, different attributes and different ways to build your boy, boy that trade that have trade-offs and you're kind of optimizing for different builds and so the metal boy slash pageant attributes handsomeness intelligence fighting power dance humor you have peace attributes weight size the cost of the metal maybe the time to put it together you have body pieces like the head and the eyes arms and legs chest torso yada yada and so you're kind of trying to build a boy where you have to you have to make these tough trade-offs and decisions and drew i also like the you you made me think of this idea where like maybe it's not just one pageant but it's it's a like a tournament of pageants and so you have Mm. like local pageant and then you have regionals and then like state and national type thing okay and so maybe <clears throat> i like that you could have maybe like a, a, a run a collection of different games for each pageant maybe yeah yeah and maybe and so maybe a, a run for your build is like you got to go through all the stages right that's cool i like that yeah yeah i think yeah that's that's most of it for my stuff so frank i'll i'll hand it over to you all right so Thinking about the pageant, I didn't, you know, I was just thinking dance, talent, questions, whatever you want to call it. And I was going with my sort of designing of the of the boy as in extremely discreet, where you're even creating the metal brain. You have to mm-hmm. create a brain that can answer questions using the mm-hmm. metals. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you have to create the entire structure of the boy to do the dance. And then you have mm-hmm. to somehow create a part of the boy that can <clears throat> maybe play a musical instrument or sing. Mm-hmm. So you have to get you have to get to the nitty gritty of this boy. Wow. Okay. Hold on, Frank. Yeah. Hold on, Frank. Hold on, Frank. You've done something. Yeah, yeah. I think miraculous here because what this has sparked in my brain is like you have to create for one of these games again. Like you're saying, you have to physically design this boy to like do a specific kind of dance. And then it turns into a co-op style mini game where you're having to press a bunch of buttons and your monstrosity is like flailing around on stage, like really badly as you're trying to like coordinate with like this dance, this dance move. Maybe, maybe there is no like, even like, you know, sort of series of button presses or like a correct answer. You're just encouraged to just express yourself with your horrible boy. <laughs> like you yeah. can just you have you have like this haphazard way to like interface with it and then your janky machine just like falls apart. <laughs> right. So that's kind of yeah. So I was thinking like I wrote that like DDR style dancing game, but if your boy isn't designed correctly, you can't doesn't matter if you hit all the things, your boy is gonna miss some of them. Right. Mm. Or there's a trivia part and it's like, who is the first president? And you select George Washington and he's just says George W. Bush. 
because you didn't design the brain correctly. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You guys ready to move on to story and world? You bet your ass. Yeah. So I think you're you're a blacksmith. Yeah, you're cursed. You're cursed. You're cursed. To give birth to an endless succession of crouton boys. Right. And the only and you're like, the only way I can make money is putting my cursed crouton boys in child pageants. Yeah. Uh, we decided this is this Or maybe that's how you maybe that's how you lift the curse. You gotta you uh, gotta complete the pageants. Yeah. And I'm I'm wondering if maybe you got cursed because you like cheated in a beauty pageant as a child. <laughs> you like <laughs> paid off the judges or whatever. And then someone found out, like a witch found out and cursed you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so now, and so they, what you know, they, they cursed you to to give birth to a child who, on paper, should never win a beauty pageant. Yeah, we decided this and is so modern you're... times. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Okay, That's I need it. So, what if you're at a pa- at a pageant, child pageant, and you're like, I this this shit's boring, and you open up a big Caesar salad and start crunching on those croutons, <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you get cursed because the witch is like, this is very disrespectful. Those croutons are loud as hell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You disrupted a pageant, and right. then a, a, wit- a witch who's really into pageants was like, yo, you're gonna have croutons forever. Yeah. The witch's child was up there or something, yeah. And it's like, you, yeah. Ooh, there we go. I mean, we could do it. Maybe, like... We've all seen child MMA. That's a thing that exists, right? Is it? No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) No. Okay. I don't know. You said (laughs) it very confidently. Both of you paused for a second and were like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. That's America Dude, 2024. I, well, I, I, that makes sense. It wouldn't surprise me. I don't know. Maybe it's this like is, slightly. I mean, I hate to do like a slightly in the future d- degradation of America again. But what if that like it was just slightly in the future where they're like dressage, fighting, you know? Oh, OK. Weirdly, that I can get into. Right. But there's still a witch. Yeah. Well, yeah. Witches are timeless. They're timeless. Yeah. Witches okay. are timeless. We'll say it's the year. T- t- we'll say it's the year twenty twenty six. I guess thinking about the near future concept, I love a near future wonder- that's like gonna happen, and obviously it's it's gonna immediately be dated. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah March twenty twenty four comes out in May. Yeah. <laughs> what 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 like kind of town or city or whatever does this take place in? Like is this is this just like every town USA? I think you We're get in to Cleveland, I think Ohio, baby. I think there's more than one pageant, so that you know there's different flavors slightly. <clears throat> I like oh, true. I like this being set in Ohio. Okay, I feel that feels. Well, I'm right kind of like. I think you can start in Ohio, but to Frank's point, maybe you're you're touring, right? It's like a national yeah yeah, yeah. championship. I, and yeah, so. there's like, like a that. cowboy one, and then there's like right. a bayou you, one. You have to, you have to hail oh, like a, you have to hail from somewhere. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to hail from somewhere, but also fitting with like the armored core thinking is you can augment your boy in between competitions. So if you're like, oh, I know that I'm going to the Texas competition where like square dancing is a big thing, I can take some of those stats and respect my boy to be good at square dancing. <laughs> and I know I'm gonna have to fight a bull, so I'm gonna need something to yeah. do that. Yeah, exactly. Mm, okay, exactly. okay. I like it. Yeah, and there's also, hmm. yeah, and I also think we should just throw in some states that don't exist for fun. What do you mean by that? <laughs> we'll just, <laughs> we'll just make up some states, Dean. Why? Are we yeah, like it? like <laughs> it like be cool. New Texas. Yeah, I don't know. Make up a state. Okay, be cool. Sure. Southwest Virginia. <laughs> it's the United States map, but for reasons completely unexplained, <laughs> some of the states and regions, like the territories, have been completely redrawn yeah. with states that don't currently exist. Right. How about how about we we get a title going? What do you guys say? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait for this. All right. You know, in other ones, we had like titles already like 
in yeah, the laid mix out. for some reason. Yeah, this yeah. one. This one, we're going in completely blind. Time for one last round of brainstorming. The title. Okie dokie. Uh, we started out with three words. Blacksmithy, croutons, and pregnancy. We've been ideating on a game about... Boy, I don't even know how you describe it. <laughs> Sending your crouton boy into a succession of beauty pageants outfitted with custom armor and metal augmentations <laughs> to win these pageants. And so now we're going to discuss potential titles for that. So let's take a look. Ooh, bread and iron, dude. Bread That's and so iron. That's so good. Bread and iron. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Frank, read through yours. Big Fuck. Guy. All right. All right. We have... Mech Crouton Boy Beauty Pageant Game. Okay. <laughs> we have the most beautiful Crouton Boy in the world. We have Glitter and Crunch. We have Bread and Iron, a beauty pageant game. <laughs> There's some good stuff in there. There's I, something going on. I really like Bread and Iron. Bread and Iron is fucking rad. That's that really good. It. it makes it, yeah, but it makes it sound very metal. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not it's, really. I don't know. What about Bread and Iron, the beautiful game? <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm going to write that real quick. Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> the, you said the beautiful game? Yeah, the, the beautiful, beautiful game. game. <laughs> that's an insane title. That's going to be tough to beat. <laughs> The beautiful game. <laughs> the you beautiful can put that game. after anything. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, but not good. like this. Wow. Wow. Uh, excellent work. All right, Drew. Mine. So I had. <laughs> I, I wrote such a crumbling beauty, which is a line from <laughs> Tom Waits's uh, Ninth and Hennepin. The, the the stanza here sure. is: They all started out with bad directions, and the girls behind the counter has a tattooed tear, one for every year away. She said. Such a crumbling beauty. And that's that's where that came from, because my brain doesn't work. We have Mr. and Mrs. Blacksmith. <laughs> sure. Remember that movie, it. Mr. and Mrs. Smith? And it's a new show. Yeah, we know what the yeah. we know the Oh, reference. yeah, yeah. Okay, so you know that? You know that movie? You heard about that one? Yeah, okay. I had that. Crunchy Crisis. <laughs> we had Crouton Crisis. Salad Dressage, which is a play on salad dressing. <laughs> yep. If you guys got that one. And then God Salad Days. Salad days. Salad days. Get it? Actually, I don't know if I get salad days. What is salad, salad days? Day? Hold on. Let me let me read a, an official definition. <sighs> what are you doing? <laughs> what is going on here? Okay. One's salad days. The period when one is young and inexperienced. Interesting. The peak or heyday of something. Okay. Huh. You eat a lot of salads. <laughs> I love the term salad days. People use that a lot in like album reviews where it's like, oh man, the halcyon days or the salad days of like Led Zeppelin back when they were making Led Zeppelin 4. Whoa. You know? Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. You learn something yeah. new every podcast. Yeah. Here's what I will say. I mean, I, I feel like we all love bread and iron, but such a crumbling beauty might be a great slogan. Hmm. Yeah, definitely keep that in there. Yeah. Cool. I don't know if there's much discussion to be had here. Does anyone have a an alternative vote to Bread and Iron? No. Bread and Iron, the beautiful game. The beautiful game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Boys, we got it. Let's write that pitch. Yeah. Last step. Write up the final pitch which we'll share when we come back. Well, we started with three words, blacksmithy, croutons, and pregnancy. And I know we've said this before, but I think we really were unsure if we'd be able to do anything with this. But I think we got somewhere, and Frank is now going to read our final pitch for today's game. Frank, take it away. The title is Bread and Iron, The Beautiful Game. Slogan, 
such a crumbling beauty. The year is 2026. We live in modern, though unrecognizable, America. Witches walk among us. Your name is Bree, a blacksmith living in Cleveland, Ohio. A terrible witch has cursed you to a life of endless pregnancies of crouton babies? It's fucked. <laughs> to lift this curse, you must augment your delicate bread boy with ambitious metal so that he may win the national beauty boy pageant of America. If you do, you will be freed from your torment. This will not be easy. Each pageant will challenge your boy in many categories. Dance, humor, combat, handsomeness, intelligence, spirit, cooking, good sportsmanship, and dressage. Grab your hammer and light the flame of your forge. Craft each piece of metallic augmentation to build the encasing of your fragile bread boy. He's your beautiful little mech. You must consider the weight, beauty, and agility of each piece. They will all contribute to your boy's ability to compete. Control your boy as best you can through each phase of the competition in mini games that will push the design of your boy to its limits. God have mercy on your wretched creation. This is Bread and Iron, the beautiful game. We did it. Beautiful. They said croutons was too fucked. But I think we did it. Excellent work. All I can say is I can't wait till we get through all the words in the hat and we can replace them with words that won't fuck us. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's that's worth looking forward to. That's our episode. Thanks for listening. Let us know what you thought about the episode. Let us know what you thought about Bread and Iron. You got ideas you want to send our way? Please do. You can find us on social media everywhere at Scope Creep Saloon or on Twitter in particular at Scope Creep Pod. And uh, check out the Slido link in the show notes. That's the perfect place to send us stuff and we'll cover it in our next mailbag episode. Hit us up. We'd love to hear your thoughts. And we'll see you next time. We got a we got a new episode coming out every month, so take a listen. Keep gaming. Keep, Keep gaming. gaming as much no. as possible. Incorrect. Or stop gaming. Games are bad. Also, if you think you can make a better crouton game, I'd love to hear it. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I would. That's a good challenge, Frank. Yeah, if yeah. you think you can make a better crouton blacksmith and pregnancy game, <laughs> let it rip. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. <coughs> All right. <laughs> was the cough part of the No, that was just Marker like Black Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Marker out. dying. Yeah. A little Baja is blast. The, will is me the up. blast helping? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it would be sick if they found out the cure for COVID was hard blast. <laughs>